So, um, this episode is long overdue, but it's the final instalment of the Strongman Programming Knowledge Series, and this one is all around speed. Um, and the example I gave in the introductory video was yoke. Um, now, yoke, it, okay, you've got to be strong, but the difference between winning and losing, or like the top four places, is usually a second or two, and that all comes down to foot speed and also speed off the mark. Um, people commonly will beat themselves up on yoke and in my opinion there is such a thing what you may have heard of called yoke flu um maybe not as bad as people say but essentially the yoke you move in such a heavy weight the pressure's all the way through your spine it beats up your central nervous system and if you go heavy for too long um or just go really heavy one day you can feel it feel a bit fragile a little bit um a little bit flu like maybe i don't know i i felt I felt sorry for myself and fragile a day after going heavy on the yoke, so there's some truth in it. Anyway, what I'm wanting to discuss is um, how you would program for speed, for optimal speed coming up to competition, but also a common weakness that I see with novice and intermediate strong men and strong women is um, either they're, they're just not stable enough and tight enough. Um, and as a result, the yoke swings a lot um, on the start, and you see a lot of people drop it in the first two or three steps. Um, or they just the overall like upper back position, uh, the soft sort of shoulder positioning, upper back tightness isn't there throughout the run, and therefore it just causes it to swing a bit or start slipping down the back, and you can't be as fast. So what I would um, suggest, and what I have done with success, is although I'm only training yoke once a week because of the CNS. Um, demand maybe at the end of squat my, my, my squat day or another like lower body day I'm doing is I'll get something like an axle bar the thickest axle bar you can find in the gym it's probably never going to be as, as uh, thick as a yoke crossbar but close enough maybe put a light bit of weight on there hang a couple of chains down so it has a bit of a swing and do some walking lunges now you're going to hold the, the bar as wide as possible as close to how you would grip the yoke um, and the reason, the sort of method behind this and my logic behind it is, okay, you're not doing a walking lunge with, with a yoke, but you need to be balanced. You need your ankles, your knees, your hips need to be stable and be able to sort of put force forward and mitigate any lateral movement. So the lunge is definitely gonna help with that. But also, you're gonna try and go beltless on these lunges. So you're having to work on core stability, keeping your breathing regulated whilst you're moving because you are going to be breathing whilst you're, whilst you're doing your lunges um, so you need to still maintain tightness whilst you're doing regular short sharp breaths and um, you're going to actively and I'm going to emphasize actively squeeze the shoulder blades together and raise the elbows up high to create that shelf so the upper back shelf the core stability and the general balance in my opinion are going to help over four five maximum six weeks leading up to the competition the last two three or four weeks depending on your fatigue levels and how your peaking's going you might want to knock this exercise out and focus more specific on all the other events including the yoke and the yoke will be heavy at that point now in the first four weeks your yoke training sessions most commonly Saturdays, everyone does moving events and stuff like that on Saturdays, it's just how we do it. Um, you're not going to be heavy, you're going to be around 70 or 75% um, and you're just going to do, I would say like, depending on how hard or easy it is for you, like four to six runs, hopefully you're quick, you're not going to be dropping the yoke, it's going to be nice, crisp, clean and you're going to just put 10 kilos on per week for four weeks whilst you're doing a lot of runs. Um, trying to keep the speed pretty much the same as each week goes by. 10 kilos on, you know, a 200 to 250 kilo yoke isn't a huge jump really, it's like less than 5%. Um, the, hopefully if you're not like dieting, if you're actually eating well and you're doing all the stability work earlier on in the week, you're going to be able to maintain or even improve the speed with the slight weight increases. Now when you get to four weeks out, the training model changes a little bit and what I would do then is, so let's say we're working with a 300 kilo yoke for competition. We've gone up to say 250 on the just general first few weeks and then we've got four more weeks. So I'm gonna work up to probably um, a 260 yoke. That's gonna be my top run, but I'm only gonna do two runs. Get competition setting, timed, measured out, really get hyped up as if it's a competition, 
I'm only going to do like four warm-up runs in the lead up to it. The reason for that is I want to mimic competition day. Now look, who gets a proper warm-up for York or for any event in a strongman comp? None of us. So let's get going. Let's make sure our body's gen gen generally warm. Four quick ascending weight runs and then get into the weight. That, that's how I like to do it anyway. Two runs at my top set for the, for the week. Then drop it down by 15 to 20% and do three or four runs and these are going to be real quick you're going to have handled the heavier weight so you're going to feel like it's it's going to feel like nothing on your back so to speak and that's where you put in your that's where you're really focusing on the foot speed to start with and it's like a really weird cadence that i imagine in my head um it's the the steps get quicker and the distance of each step gets longer and it's sort of like you start off slow and short to make sure the yoga doesn't swing but you pick it up quick so it's all i imagine the cadence to be like one two three four five six seven like speeding up i know it sounds really silly but that's sort of how i imagine it and that minimizes that jerk off the line and the swing of the yoke so we're really focusing on that on the back down runs and anyway as it gets close to a competition you might do the next week a top run of um, 280 and then drop it down by 15 20 percent then 300 and then you've got one more training week like one to two weeks out from competition if you want more of a confidence builder and you're not feeling beat i might go to 310 if not i'll just do two more runs at 300 competition where try and beat my times from the week before and then back it down by you know 15 20 percent so like 50 kilos 60 kilos something like that um and that's it so we got one yoke session per week first four weeks fairly light 60 70 75 percent something like that throwing in a load of um a load of runs just getting used to the implement final four weeks you're peaking up minimal work at the top end and some speed work underneath it and then throughout the week at least in weeks one to four no more than weeks one to six we're doing some walking lunges or a similar variety maybe cambered bar or an axle bar with, with chains hanging and we're doing it beltless and we're doing high reps so maybe 10 to 15 steps per leg and you're just focusing on regulating your breathing whilst you're under load and moving under load and you're focusing on core stability actively squeezing the upper back and creating a shelf and making sure you don't roll an ankle um that's how i do it um speed events moving events work okay for me as i've said before i'm probably the weakest strongman to have got on podiums in any competition i've done i'm not actually very statically strong but i'm good at moving events i'm fairly good at technique on overhead events and i tend to make my points up in that area um so similar to overhead i also think uh, that my method is pretty is tried and tested for me maybe it might not maybe it will work for you maybe not um try it out let me know your thoughts hope this one helped and uh yeah maybe i might talk about nutrition next we'll see um, but thanks for listening. Bye.